Thank you, Madam Chair, dear High Representative, dear Joseph, dear colleagues. I appreciate the EU's approach to the last summit, a difficult meeting where we arrived with many colleagues still under sanction by Beijing, let's not forget it, and in an extremely complex international context. The results have been underwhelming, but not because of EU lacks of trying, and this adds its importance. The elephant in the room has obviously been the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which the, we, with the EU calls for help to end the conflict answered by deliberate ambiguity, evasive responses and no explicit assurances from China. As politicians, we have to call facts and actions as we see them. And what I see is that China, with its wait-and-see attitude and its unwillingness to take a clear position, is in fact buying time for Putin, de facto helping him going forward on his bloody aggression war on the ground and attempting to change borders through the use of brute force. The EU must continue to call out Beijing to abandon this ambiguity, stressing that the step between a guilty silence and complicity is a short one, not compatible with China's proclaimed aspiration to be a global player for peace and stability. If China wants to be on the right side of history, it's, it has to take a decision now, and it must be a clear one. Thank you. Grazie. Now, uh...